Hi, welcome to step number three of how to blog. So you've changed your password, your profile is done. I'm going to log in this time as me. And all you'll notice once I do that, there's a few things that are different. And that's because my dashboard appears a little bit different than yours because I am an administrator. That doesn't matter. What you're going to look for when you get to this point is the teacher blogs. So I scroll over top and I need to go to the add new. Now the title is important. Personally, I would put the date as a title of my blog, but there are times maybe especially elementary teachers when you want to put a certain title or event in your blog entry. For example, happy birthday Matthew or maybe Happy St. Patrick's Day. For me, I think the easiest thing would just be to do the date. So I'm going to put in today's date. And it's actually Friday, so I should add that in. I click down below, and this is where my agenda would go, my agenda messages. So again, it depends on the teacher, it depends on the subject. I might be teaching grade 5 everything, so reading in 20 minutes is important practice basic math skills and maybe they had some uh, language arts homework story writing now the thing about a blog is you can be specific if you want and if you would like to write in paragraph format that's fine if you want to keep it short and simple and do you know small point form notes that's fine too you also have the option of kind of making it up spicing it up a little bit so if I wanted to bold something I can do that um, what's really interesting is I can put links in here as well so I'm just going to go to a different window for a second here let's say I want to link our website for some reason so I'm going to copy this website control or command C I'm going to go back to my blog entry and I'm going to Go to the link section. So that's going to be linked. Maybe it, this is my LA homework for story writing link that they need. I'm going to paste my website in here and I'm going to put story prompt picture because we're writing all about our Westmount school. I click on add link and now I have a link in my embedded in my blog post. Um, you can also upload and insert pictures. So this is if you'd like to add media. I won't get into this right now, but just for those of you who feel comfortable kind of adding some of these things in, just wanted to point out a few of the, of the um, additional options we have. Okay, so again, you can have the option of choosing a font of your you know, preference, styles, there's lots of options here for you to play around with. So at this point, I'm going to stop and let you guys get busy trying to publish your blog posts. What we need to do to finish this off is click Publish. Okay, and that's on the right-hand side of your blog. So I can go to my name at this point. I'm done for today, and I can log out. And that's how you post a blog. Any questions, please let me know. You can email me, drop by my room, 204, stop me in the hallway, whatever works, okay? Good luck. Happy blogging.